of a connection. I didn't really feel like I had to worry about it. Um, so basically, there's your RC8, your old circuit board. You take that off, set it aside anywhere. And then here, you see you've got your ground wire. And then this is the ground wire for the pitch control, I believe. Um, so what you need to do is clip off this old pesky annoying humming ground wire that's why you need this wire cutters um, my wire cutters aren't super fine but uh, they work just enough and just be careful and if you accidentally cut the wrong one um, like it says in the instructions you can just split the wire or pull the sheath off the wire and reconnect it to this little uh, clip so there we go old one's done out of the way you annoying mother effer okay so now we're ready to put in our new circuit board um, and you've got these little teeny fine wires so you've got a blue one a white one a red one a green one and a black one um, the first one that they want you to do in the instructions is the blue one. So I'll pull the blue one, I'll hold the blue one, and then pull these other ones out of the way. I usually try to tuck them around one of these, uh, this little post that's sticking up here. And now I'm ready to put my new handy dandy fancy circuit board in. So, as you can see, it's got all these nice solder points already ready to go. You don't have to add any solder to it. You just melt it, stick the wire in, and it's good to go. So, first thing you want to do is connect this down. Um, so, I'm going to pull these aside because I'm going to put this around that way because this connects here and then here. But you want to slide this through the thing, this. So the, as you can see, these cables are fat and these new connectors are fat and they won't fit through both of them together. So you got to bend one of these posts. So what I'm going to do is use my pliers. And so that's bent nice out of the way that way I can fit my new ones through so that's going to go like that and be careful you want to put these ridges facing out not towards the inside of the turntable so slide one cable through and now the other one through i don't know if you can see that or not let me try and move this up just a little bit and give a little bit more of a wide view this is my very first instructional video done so if it's not great tough shit all right so I've got these coming out and I guess it just doesn't really matter if you do that before or not um, so get these out of the way I've got my ground and I'll connect that one first to secure the black wire so it's not dangling around all over the place when I'm trying to solder or when I'm trying to connect the other one. So and take the long one. The long screw goes in here. And secure it to this little plastic connector. Okay. This slides down pretty far. 
far. Okay, so that's pretty secure. Make sure these are not attached to anything or being pinned down. And I'm going to do this other one. I might be able to do this a little bit faster if I wasn't trying to explain things. Um, but we're still probably going to be done in less than 45 minutes from start to finish, from setup to finish. So that's pretty damn good. Alright, so that's secure. I'm going to make sure all my little wires are loose so that I can solder them on. Alright, so we're all set to go as you can see. So now we go to the second most stressful part, which is securing the cables or the little wires. Alright, so I got my blue wire first. I tuck all these other wires around this little post. Or try to anyways. So that they don't get in the way. So I don't want to melt or attach any of the other wires to the same post. Okay, so there I am. Um, I've got my magnifying glass set. I'm going to try and move it a little bit so I can see a little bit better. So as you can see, I'm going to connect this to the very first post. Um, I've got my soldering gun. 